now move on to our next problem. We have a cylindrical pressure vessel which is fabricated from steel plating that has a thickness of 20 mm. So this is T. And then our diameter is 450 mm. And then we are also given the length. And then we have to determine the maximum internal pressure if the longitudinal stress is limited to 140 MPa and the circumferential stress is limited to 60 MPa. So our allowable longitudinal stress is 140 MPa and then our allowable circumferential stress is 60 MPa. So first, let's calculate the internal pressure considering the longitudinal stress. So based on longitudinal stress, we have PD over 40. Now our allowable longitudinal stress is 140 MPa. So this is 140 and then this is equal to the internal pressure. I mean, let's just write our units. This is Newton per mm squared and then it's equal to the internal pressure times the diameter which is 450 mm divided by 40 since we are talking about longitudinal. So 4 times 20 mm and then this will cancel and then our resulting unit of P will be Newton per mm squared which is a value of pressure or stress. So our pressure is 140 times 4 times 20 divided by 450 that will be 24.8 uh, or simply this is 0.89 because this is a non-terminating decimal. So 24.89 MPa. And then based on tangential stress we have PD over 2T and then our allowable is 60 MPa. Again, let's just change this into tangential because that's just the same with circumferential. So our allowable is 60 Newton per mm squared and then P times the diameter divided by 2T. Notice that in our calculations, we do not actually use L. Now this may have been given just to trick you and so be careful with this one. So solving P, we have 60 times 2 times 20 divided by 450, we have 5.33. Now recall that when you're talking about the internal pressure, this this is an applied pressure and so what we'll pick here for the maximum internal pressure we'll actually consider the lower value because if this is our internal pressure our vessel will be safer. Oh.